Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, today I have for you uh, a pick a pile reading um, with a question. Um, how deep is your person's love for you? All right. Um, how deeply do they love you? Okay. And I have three piles here in front of me. Um, <clears throat> the first pile is um, the amethyst stone. The second pile is the clear quartz. And the third pile is the green aventurine. So I would like you to um, look at the, you can choose your pile according to the stone or you could simply just concentrate on the three piles in front of you and um, <clears throat> you know, choose. Um, choose the pile that is for you and, and a lot of times so it's it's better to actually choose uh, a pile this way now okay so um let's start <laughs> all right so uh, let me put these two piles away uh, for the moment and we will start with pile number one what how deep is your person's love for you okay all right I will show you the cards as well. These are my angel cards. Um, these are the original angel cards. Um, so the first one here says relaxation. I put it here so you can see. Relaxation. Spontaneity. The heart shaped card says. <laughs> You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Now we'll head on to the tarot cards. <clears throat> the cards that I've used today is from the beautiful deck called Tarot Mucha. And we have got the world card here. And then the second card that we have is Queen of Wands. Right. From the journey of love, I have got the card God Speaks. And from the Psychic Tarot Oracle, I have got Observe. And Challenging Times. <clears throat> all right so let me have a look at this for a minute and then we'll so start off on the explanations so the very first thing that i'm getting in this entire um reading is that um See, your person is currently going through some sort of uh, turmoil, some sort of challenging times. It's possible you are in separation. It's possible with, you know, challenging times and turmoil card here. With both of these together, um, I feel that there is some sort of... Uh, you know turmoil going on in your love life and uh, it's it's um, you know really um, affected this person um, they are they are currently probably not showing you um, their true feelings they might not be in touch they might not be in contact because here I have the observe card with which actually according to tarot is the hangman and the hangman means patience, waiting for the right time, waiting for things to happen. And then when I look at the God Speaks card, this also sort of, it's like an advice card. And it says that, listen to the voice within. So this person, your person, seems to have really deep feelings for you. But at this moment, um, they are going through 
challenging times with regards to their relationship or their feelings with you i have a very strong feeling that your person has <clears throat> um you know left it to destiny fate um time um god you know um to actually get in touch or to get this relationship back um you know back in its original form or back into happier times and it's not like they're not doing anything about it because i do have the you know the queen of wands here so this person is ready to put up a fight to get you to be in relationship with you but it looks to me like <clears throat> you guys are you know in a sort of cycle like there's a cycle which is going on which is about to end okay so whenever we get the world card it's like the cycle is about to end and it's been a tough one but this person your person has um you know fought through it your person has uh stuck to to their love for you okay uh, despite all these problems so that just tells you about just how deep their love is actually that despite these problems despite these um you know um really really uh tough times this person is still uh you know waiting for you to reunite or waiting for the trouble times to end so both of you can come back on the same page together this person has changed a lot during this time it's possible that at one point of time they might have been um impulsive uh, spontaneous relaxed and you know sort of flowing with life um you know just going with the flow rather uh, not really very worried about anything but now after this has happened in your relationship they are their perspective has changed like almost like a 360 degree change of perspective with the hangman card here they are now able to see from different viewpoints um in the uh, you know in their lives it's not all about just them um <clears throat> you know fighting things because i think at one point of time these they were like you know um, they would not listen to um anybody they would uh, you know go just by themselves and you know probably prone to temper tantrums and you know <coughs> uh, impulsivity and you know that kind of stuff but now after all of this this person has gone through a total sea change and it's your relationship and their feelings for you that has made this change come about you know so they are now more um adjusting adapting um more able to go with the flow more able to leave things on a higher power more relaxed more spontaneous so yes this this person really and and obviously we don't change um so much if we don't love somebody that deep so your love has brought about a sea change in this person and that just shows how much they love you the heart card also says you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed so this is exactly what i'm saying you know through all this turmoil <clears throat> you know the blessing has been them are adapting or changing their perception in such a way that they now come out to be someone who is more aligned with life somebody who is more um you know uh, spontaneous somebody who is more um, relaxed somebody who can you know uh, look at all sides of a perspective and if you look at this um queen of Uh, the queen of wands person also um 
they are the, this queen of wands is very very unlike uh, most most of the queen of wands <laughs> this this queen of wands is thoughtful has actually taken respite from the battle and as you can as you see um there is some sort of a tower moment happening behind us so this is behind them you know this blow up of events whatever happened between you guys it could be different because a lot of people would be watching this so it could be different uh, problems for different people but whatever has happened has made this person you know uh, pause pause think about things about life about relationships about love and as a result they have come out a wiser and a more um, you know um, a more patient wiser um, person you know somebody who who has been literally tested through fire now i just want to read the poem um, you know to before we end this um, reading uh, so that we have a small picture of what your person's deepest feelings are from their heart towards you when the first sound was born the air was filled with fantasy like the flowers sweet perfume alive in the moment there was nothing else only the energy coursing through my body and the tears on my cheeks i was carried away on the strings each note striking a chord within and answering with the emotions of my soul how priceless the surprise how powerful the memory to be with the violin when it sings so yeah i think they have beautiful memories of you and good times memories of good time even if you are together and right now not um really on the same page um they i don't know why i'm just getting a feeling that it hurts it aches they cry and they remember so if there was any doubt in your mind about whether your person really loves you and how deep i think with this reading you can be rest assured that yes despite despite everything despite whatever you guys have gone through this person is hurt but have changed their whole life around to encompass or to adjust to your love so yes you know they love you very deeply thank you let's go on to the second one file number 2 would be <clears throat> the clear pots yeah Clear quartz, pile number two. The first angel card I have is enthusiasm. Second is risk. All right, Very interesting. The heart card I have is called balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that support that both supports and challenges. All right. The first card I have from the tarot is the Hermit. The second card I have from the tarot is the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana cards. Both of them. From the Journey of Love, I have the Angel of Jupiter, Awaken. and from the psychic tarot of the heart i have rebuild which is actually the tarot version of the tower <clears throat> the tower card and <laughs> the fourth card is the heart chakra wow you see i mean i'm seeing a lot of greens in this entire spread which actually green does rule the heart chakra and uh, yeah it's uh, it's also number 6 uh, and 6 is the number of love so 
yeah i am already getting the sense this is this person and even if i look at this tone um kind of mix it all up uh this person is very clear about their emotions for you i mean um they really clear they uh, they're crystal clear about what they feel for you yeah yeah okay so now i'm going to uh, start off uh, about with the with the interpretation so i don't know why i'm getting very very drawn to the color green here um yes this person has very very deep feelings for you as in their heart chakra is absolutely open like for you and this has happened like if you ask me um you know when i see these two cards together um it's like it's happened very suddenly like this connection this these feelings have kind of revealed themselves very suddenly because this is like a wave here you know like the wave has just come if you can see and then this heart chakra opens so to me it looks like it's possible that they had very deep feelings for you but now is like the right time for uh, you know the wave to actually crest you know to act to actually um the time is right for the uh, heart chakra to open up all of a sudden you know and um that's the first thing i'm getting here and and then i look at the enthusiasm card and you know like this also kind of lines with this um these two cards <coughs> now um now i come now my eye is getting drawn to the rebuild card and this again uh, tells me about the sudden sort of awakening that has happened within them where yeah and see the person here is um putting their hand on the heart chakra okay so yes so this is oh my god this is really aligned like yes something happened like there was a tower moment there was a revelation a breakthrough and all of a sudden their feelings started to flow towards you so i don't know if you i think you must be in touch you might be in touch um mm, and i'm sure you know because whenever uh, the heart chakra is open then the communication between two people can be done via the heart chakra so yeah something happened and i have a very strong feeling that it was the right time for this person to reveal their feelings um you know uh, to you and they have been waiting i get a very strong sense that you know when i look at the rebuild card and then i look at the destiny card it's like you know um this was the time for this um opening this expansion this love to uh, be revealed you know and they were very enthusiastic about it because i feel that they were waiting for a very long time since the hermit card the hermit card is waiting i mean you can see her she's um actually um she's she's got this light in her lamp and she's just waiting for someone to come so i think your person has been waiting waiting for the right time to reveal their feelings for you um <clears throat> and suddenly uh, call it the universe call it um the right time i think it was divine timing um you know uh, they were waiting for divine timing to happen for you to realize about them or something and so they could come forth you know in this burst of feeling and suddenly not only their heart chakra but yours also has opened and now you have come in balance both of you yeah yeah that's right balance <coughs> Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So yeah, this person has been in a challenging mode till the time they, you know, this time came for for your union. 
and um, now it's enthusiasm now it's a risk it's joy it's it's like the polar opposite it's like a masculine feminine it's possible this is a soulmate twin flame relationship <clears throat> because generally in twin flame and soulmate relationship this kind of you know pattern happens there's been a very long wait this person has gone through you know so it's like it's possible <coughs> this person might have been um you know i mean if i look at different scenarios i'd say you know this person had a crush on you for a very long time it's possible that they are a very old friend or colleague or something like that and they have been hiding their feelings for you for a very long time and suddenly because of certain circumstances or the right time <coughs> these feelings have suddenly been revealed you know because it was the right time and they they were very enthusiastic about it you know they took the risk as well of course nothing you know happens if you don't take the risk and this person you know took the risk for you you know they finally come out with their feelings and oh my god <laughs> and they are so deep because if i look at the um <clears throat> I don't know I keep getting drawn to the hermit card to keep on giving you messages about the hermit card because the hermit card is the heart chakra it is um you know it is the deepest of the deep you know it it's also if you look at it it's a flame it's a it's a flame it's probably this person is probably a twin flame okay it's the deepest flame in your heart and um very deep feelings extremely deep i mean i don't think you would even know how deep and for a very long time as well you know like earth shattering kind of oof moment with this person i i don't know i mean if you are in relationship with this person now you would know that how it all happened and i'm sure you must have been taken <clears throat> a bit by shock you know um when this person reveals themselves to you uh but it's a pleasant kind of shock i feel it's like the stripping away of all these layers and suddenly and you know the the the, fre the flame comes up the fresh fresh soul comes up and this was all about timing everything was about timing if i sort of channel a little bit more i'm getting from this card that there are past lives involved with this person lot of them it's been a you know like a spiral of past lives and soul evolution that has happened and you know i don't want to go too much into the you know spirituality of it but i mean suffice to say that your person is crazy about you um very very deep feelings they could not get over it's possible it's almost been going on for 9 or 10 years maybe you know that this person has kept their feelings hidden <clears throat> waiting waiting for the time um holding their heart their aching heart to let the let the right time come so that they can take the risk to reveal themselves and for you to you know accept so yeah i mean of course whether you accept or not is up to you but obviously i'm i'm assuming that if you're asking about this person you have accepted so yeah this is beautiful i'm going to <clears throat> leave this file with uh, the poem that um, i have for the angel of jupiter it says a week in your arms i wait to stop time saving each moment for an eternity see i told you this has been going on for very long like an angel you light the room your love giving life to the love i've held within unbridled and free our dream unfolds and we are forever changed oh my god i'm having chills this is so strong congratulations group 2 so we will on that note go for the <clears> the <throat> five
Now we have the third pile, which is the green inventory. Let's see what this says. Okay, courage, discernment. The heart shaped card says manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. In the tarot, we have the King of Wands, and then we have um, Justice. In um, the Journey of Love cards, we have the choice. Mm. Okay. And then Psychic Tarot of the Heart, I have Change of Focus. Okay. And Success and Growth. All right. Very interesting. If you look at these two cards, <clears throat> These two are either facing away from each other, okay? And if I put them like that, <laughs> they're facing um, each other, right? And so that's the first thing that I am being drawn to, the choice, okay? Your person is at this point in time deciding you know whether they should go for you or not so because I'm getting justice and justice is the card of decisions right what I'm getting in terms of what their feelings are right now is basically that see they have this intense passion for you there is a sort of magnetic attraction um, passion chemistry yeah so yeah they have all that they're very attracted to you very passionate about you but you know they are people who are I think at this point in time, more into success and growth, okay, um, but however, you know, um, it's like a choice for them right now to go for you or not. They have this passion, okay, but they are at a point right now where they need to choose, you know, uh, whether they want to pursue you and put aside their career or something else it could be some other situation it could even be another person you know i don't know it's just it's a choice for them okay and um they are more prone to listening to their heart and they are very courageous so it's like when this person decides that they want you they will definitely come forward like they so if if you're getting mix mixed signals about this person then use your discernment you know don't just you know like uh, bombard them with calls and messages and texts and stuff they are following their heart and their heart is in the midst of making a decision right now whether you know they want to go for you or they want to say you know and and go into success and growth or they want to change their focus and go for something else right so till the time this person decides um whether you know they should actually like in the real world and i don't mean that you know they're trying to decide whether to have feelings for you i mean to say that you know, they are thinking of a solid choice, like an offer, you know, like an offer of a relationship or a marriage, something like that, you know. 
so feelings they already have you know they they are already intensely attracted to you and passionate about you they want to be with you they think you're beautiful okay but um you know when it comes down to the real world um you know certain decisions are very important you know so till the time they don't make this choice i would suggest use your discernment with this person this person is you know at a point in their life right now where they need to decide whether they want to follow this feeling of this whether they want to follow the guidance of their heart or not okay so um also from these cards i'm getting the sense that both of you are very different i mean in terms of your natures because you know like i'm getting <coughs> it's purple and red with this person your person whether you're male or female whatever or you're asking about a male or female the point is they are in this energy of purple and violet okay um and you are in the energy of you know green and blue all right so this um indicates the root chakra and uh, the third eye chakra yeah this person is very passionate It, this person is like yeah the king of wands like they go after their passion so i am really getting you know very positive vibes here because i feel that you know they will ultimately end up choosing something that they are passionate about you know and since they are already passionate about you i have a feeling that they will they should choose you hopefully you know i i really feel that but for the moment of course give them their time you as a person i think you're very heart focused you're very heart and throat chakra focused you must you might be somebody who's um you know very um talkative very communicative and this person is either on the move all the time your person or you know in their head so it's like both of you are like very different all right from each other and that's probably the reason maybe you know like you might be having doubts yourself that you know mm, i don't know do this person really you know like me does this person love me and then i get justice as well you know because that is actually justice is the balancing of scales and that's a very good um you know sign for the future that um you know um <clears throat> that both of you tend to balance each other out you know your energies are balancing um each other's energies so it's like um you know you are both of you are um complementary pieces of the puzzle you know so this is really beautiful i mean um all you, all i can tell you in terms of advice is you know just give the person time to you know uh, come into that place where you know they they have decided to go for you and then you know both of you are facing you know, each other so as you can see here right so now let's go into the choice cards poem and that is let's see what they have to say to you our lives are measured in choices we have made along the path we call living each compass point a possibility each step an opportunity seemingly random each decision moves us inexorably in a direction both unknown and yet somehow familiar for upon refle reflection the strength we find in choosing or the surrender of letting all unfold leads us to the place we started from when we made that first choice to be here again beautiful so yeah what's in it i mean you know they are more inclined they are very inclined towards making this choice for you but um yeah they they need time they need time so i wish you the best of luck group 3 and we'll be back for more readings please um like subscribe or comment on the channel um i'd love to hear feedback from you and um 
you know um let me know what more questions would you like me to look into yeah thank you bye bye